Hello and welcome to this video series where I'll demonstrate how I set up and paint my 10 millimeters American Civil War miniatures from Cracker Line Minis. Uh, my name is Ron Ratliff and I will be your narrator and painter throughout this series. So right here I'm showing you how I set up my models on some popsicle sticks with some poster sticky tack and I use a gray spray paint primer very lightly just to get everything started. And then right here I'm showing you the different packs out of the uh, regiment pack and the brigade pack from Cracker Line Minis that I purchased. Um, comes with uh, different multiple poses uh, for the infantry. Um, it comes with uh, a leader usually mounted on a horse and uh, a couple gun cannons with crews. Um, so that's what we have there and that's what you'll see throughout this series. Right here I'm just showing you the different color paints that I'll be using on pretty much every single one of these models in this video series. Uh, my paints I get from my local Walmart, they're the Apple Barrel paints, 50 cents for a, a bottle. Um, I find that if I use a little water and thin the paints down just a bit, I get really nice coverage and I think these paints do a nice job. Uh, I also use the folk art paints that I get at our local Walmart and uh, the two colors right there, the sterling silver and the Inca gold, I get a lot of use out of. I do have a lot of uh, other types of paint from like model color in Vallejo and also Citadel, which you'll see in just a little bit. Um, my, unfortunately, my local game store is over two hours away from me, so I use the Apple Barrel paints because they're available. All right, what's next? So right here is first Citadel, one of the Citadel paints I use. I really like the Citadel paints. They're really high quality. Thin again, thin them down just a little bit and you get a very nice coverage. And Agrax Earthshade there, I use that a lot. Really helps to bring out the details in these models. Another thing I use here is the painter's pen, the gold fine tip. I use that for around the bases. And then the paint brushes I use, I use the Citadel fine detail brush. This is my workhorse right here. It will gets lots of use. And then also uh, just some number five round tip uh, paint brushes that I either get from the craft aisle or from Hobby Lobby. So I'm excited to share this journey with you. If this is something you like, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Thank you very much.